Hello, and welcome to the video lecture on actually writing out uh, a subquery. Uh, in this case, we have a number of different ways we can do subqueries. We're going to start with uh, using a subquery in the WHERE clause. Um, when you use it in the WHERE clause, you're going to use it, uh, use it utilizing it inside an IN uh, operator. Uh, so we, we're going to do this in two steps. All right, so what we want to do is we want to show all of the customers, uh, all of the customer information for customers uh, who have placed orders, right? So the select clause, oops, wasn't typing there. And even when I am typing, I spell things wrong, right? So we're just going to do a select star, right? You, you get the idea of how to um, make a, a select clause. So I'm not going to waste your time doing that. So we're going to select star from the customer t-table. Hey, there it is. There's Kasatma. I knew I'd get there one of these days. All right. Frock? Really? Um, from the customer t. Now, if we just do that, we get all the information from customer. Right? Uh, we could do a join. Right? So we, we could combine this. Right? I could add in the order T table and then I can use a where clause um, actually we don't do that anymore so we do a customer inner join on the order T table on the customer T dot customer ID equals the order T dot customer ID now here, when we use the select star, we're going to get every column from both tables, right? So we've got our customer ID, our customer name, our address, our city, our state, our postal code, all from the customer table. And then from the order table, we've got our order ID, our order date, customer ID, fulfillment date, salesperson ID, and the shipping address ID. Okay? So far, so good. All right. Um, we don't want to join them. Because uh, joins, uh, again, I don't want to go to design view either. Joins uh, are inefficient uh, when it comes to certain queries. There is a more efficient way of doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this inner join. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a where clause. So we're going to say where the customer ID. And again, this way, I don't need to fully qualify it. The reason I don't need to fully qualify it is because customer T is the only table in the from clause. So it's not going to get lost um, in, it's not going to, you know, get confused as to where I should get this customer ID from. There is only one table involved with this. So for all intents and purposes, we're back um, to using single table queries when it comes to this. But we're going to do where customer ID is in. A list. Now we could go out and we could literally run a query to find all of the customer IDs that are in the order T table, uh, but instead of doing that, we're just going to let this run dynamically. I'm going to open up another query and I'm going to write my SQL there for the subquery. So I'm going to select. customer ID from order T. Okay? And I run that. So as you can see, it's a big list. It's a 58 it's a 58 record list. And there's a lot of duplicates in here. Alright, so to get more efficient, since we only want uh, a distinct list, we're going to use the distinct keyword. So now I'm going to get a much smaller list, easier to use. All right, so here are my customer IDs that exist in the order T table. So these, for all intents and purposes, are customers that have submitted orders. Now, what you have to kind of conceptually envision is that when we use this query as a subquery, the database management system is, for all intents and purposes, going to see it as a common delimited list. All right? So, let's do that. I'm going to take our SQL, I'm going to copy it out of here, 
and I'm going to paste it here. So what's going to happen is this inner query is going to operate first. It's going to run and it's going to generate this list. Then the outer query is going to operate and it's going to select everything from the customer table where the customer ID is in this list of customer IDs. So far so good. What you have to do is run it. Poof. Just like that. So joins are inefficient but necessary in some cases. In other cases when we need something simple like this a subquery would be much much more efficient. Okay so I'm just going to go back to SQL view so you can take another look at this and that is the end of my video lecture on subqueries uh, in an in clause.